Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece again from Central New Mexico Community College. In this video B on the endocrine system, we're going to focus on the different groups or classes of hormones. There are two, two major groups of hormones, those that are made up of amino acids and those that are lipids, basically steroids. Remember that steroids are one of the three types of lipids. Lipids include the triglycerides, your phospholipids, and then also the steroids. Steroids, of course, always have a very characteristic look to them. It's very easy to recognize their chemical structures. Now, in addition to the amino acid-based hormones and the steroid hormones, there are many, many smaller groups of hormones that I'll just refer to as local hormones. And then on the next slide, we'll look at some more specific examples of them. Now, just to come back for a moment to our two major groups. So those hormones that are made up of amino acids, which we can call amine hormones, they can be as small as a simple amino acid or just a few amino acids to where we refer to them as peptides or, you know, long, long complex chains of amino acids to where they're literally proteins. These are going to not be lipid-soluble hormones. They're all going to be water-soluble. And keep in mind, anything that is water-soluble cannot easily get through a cell membrane. So here in this table, we see um, some examples of simple hormones that are amino acid-based to more complex. So here we have, uh, for instance, an amine hormone such as norepinephrine which is really uh, an amino acid with some, um, with some uh, functional groups added or replaced. Um, here we have a, a peptide hormone with, made up of just a few amino acids, such as oxytocin, produced by our posterior pituitary gland. Protein, many of our hormones are proteins, such as the human growth hormone. Here we see it's made up of you know, lengthy chains of amino acids and then twisted around and uh, probably most likely in more of a three-dimensional or tertiary structure. And then finally, the steroid hormones with their characteristic look. And of course, those include many of our sex hormones uh, but also such things as aldosterone that you've already learned about, for instance. Now, there are a tremendous amount of what we call local hormones, and you've heard of these already before because we have discussed them in the past. For instance, in the case of when we studied uh, the blood, particularly blood clotting, we talked about prostaglandins and thromboxane, thromboxane A2. Leukotrienes as well, we've already brought up in the past, if I remember correctly. And also such things as colony stimulating factors when we learned about leukopoiesis, leukopoiesis as well as interleukin, erythropoietin we discussed uh, during erythropoiesis. And in addition to that, we've also learned about platelet-derived growth factor, again, during, um, we brought this hormone up during the platelet phase of uh, hemostasis. But there are many, many more additional ones. And, and a couple more to mention here are insulin-like growth factor, abbreviated IGF, which we're going to discuss in association with growth hormone, and epidermal growth factor. So many of the growth factors or many of those factors that stimulate cell division are a type of hormone. Um, so these are referred to as the growth factors, while those that arise from the oxidation of fatty acids, of, of, of lengthy fatty acids, uh, we call eicosanoids. You might have heard of arachidonic acid, and if that becomes oxidized, it turns into um, a local hormone. So these especially play a role, as I already said, um, we, we came across these in, in blood clotting, and I should have probably listed that as part here of my examples, but they also play a role in growth and inflammation and immunity, as well as functioning as messengers, chemical messengers in the central nervous system. 
So bear in mind that we, we you know, I, I've mentioned before, pretty much every cell in the body it functions as a hormone secreting gland. And so many of these local hormones are produced by cells rather than these major endocrine glands that we pointed out on a diagram in the previous um, video.